Imagine launching a space shuttle from a hydrofoil barge. In 1974, the brilliant minds at Suhoi Aircraft and hydrofoil specialist Rostislav Alekseev conceptualized a groundbreaking idea, the Alekseev Suhoi Albatross project. This ambitious project aimed to launch a Soviet space shuttle from a carrier space plane perched on the side of a hydrofoil barge. In this video, Hayes Grayart takes you on a visual journey into the heart of this extraordinary project. The Soviet-era space shuttle, designed by Suhoi, meets the hydrofoil expertise of Rostislav Alexei, known for the iconic Caspian Sea Monster Ekranoplane prototype. The Albatross project was a three-stage shuttle launch system that could send a space shuttle into the sky without the need for a traditional launch pad or runway. What's even more incredible is that all the stages were designed to be restored and reused. The heart of the system was the massive 70-meter, 229-ton hydrofoil barge named Albatross Momentum Block. It would carry the Delta Wing Albatross carrier aircraft, loaded with a liquid oxygen, liquid hydrogen rocket capable of producing an astonishing 91.298 million kilonewtons of thrust. The carrier aircraft would, in turn, transport the much smaller 49-meter space shuttle, Albatross Rakitoplan, weighing a mere 160 tons, equipped with its own 320.1 million kilonewtons rocket. The ingenious design featured the second-stage carrier aircraft launching the rockets, refueling in mid-air from a 180-ton reserve on the barge. This refueling process would propel the hydrofoil barge to a staggering launch speed of about 180 km per hour, just under two minutes after the rocket launch. At this point, the carrier aircraft would have enough lift to take off, hoisting the shuttle to a higher altitude. The shuttle would then detach and continue into orbit under its own rocket power, while the carrier aircraft descended back to Earth and safely landed. It was an astonishing concept. Unfortunately, this remarkable project remained on paper due to a significant obstacle. Hydrofoil flight became excessively risky at speeds exceeding 113 km per hour. At such speeds, the low pressure zone above the hydrofoil foil dropped to a level where water would begin to boil. Despite its unrealized potential, the Albatross project remains a testament to the limitless ingenuity of aerospace and engineering minds.